Hello, my Miss Percival's. And I am here with a video for you guys today. So today is a what's in my bag video. And currently, I am in this little baby. So I'm about to get out of this bag. But Marc Jacobs just dropped all their leather um, micro totes. And I just wanted to show what I have in mind so everyone can know what it holds um before purchase it is a very very small i mean it's tiny it's a very small bag but i hope this helps someone and who because i don't think um these was purchased a lot of these was purchased um i believe through bloomingdale's and mark jacobs itself i got mine exactly off the mark jacobs website and I believe Bloomingdale's or was selling them as well. The Teddy Totes, Micro Teddy Totes, um, in different colors. I believe they had it in like a green, pink, and this black. I don't know of any other colors. But right now, Marc Jacobs have released the Micro Totes and leather sequins in different styles as well. And right now, what I want to do is just show what all I have in mind. You make it pack yours better or differently or whatever, but I just want to give you an idea of basically what it holds. It doesn't hold a whole lot, but it's very, very cute. And I am thinking about getting another one in the leather, but I'm contemplating on it. But um, this is the perp. This is my reasoning for this video is to basically just give an idea of what the micro tote holds. They have the um, leather tote, as I stated, in micro and leather and in multiple colors. So they have it in like this, the, the uh, what's the name? Candy pink. They have it in red. They have it in, I believe, the argan oil. Multiple colors. Very beautiful. And it's so stinking cute. So let me give you guys a close up. And I have this little screen and I don't know. This is my first problem I had with one of my Marc Jacobs bags. But it's this little screen that's there. But I have my little electric lighter. I have to zap that off with. But this is a close-up of the Teddy Tote. And I also got the Teddy Tote in micro. Because the reason for me get wanting to choose this one. Was because it matched my Ugg sandals. So when I wear this bag... Um, wore this bag. I had my Ugg sandals or whatever, and it's so cute with it. It matches the material to the exact tee, and they are black. But anyway, let's get into this video. So it does come with a thick crossbody strap that is adjustable. And on here, the only charm I have on here is my little coach horse and carriage charm. It is of Civitone hardware, the one that I have. So it was kind of a little difficult for me to dress it up. But let's go inside the bag. Um, it has this little protecting thing over the color, but I just chose not to take it off. Um, as far as the mag the this one, it doesn't have that magnetic piece, but this is much longer than my um other one, so it stays into place. But this is the overview of the bag. And right now, I just have stuff thrown in here because I have been in and out, in and out, in and out of this bag. So right now, it is a mess. It is, I didn't prepare prior to this video. So what you see is basically my last tumbling through this, through my bag is how it's arranged. So anyway, I'm just going to start with what I see first, which is my, um, see, I told y'all, which is my work keys. Next thing are some of my um, house keys. And I've been using this instead of my coach um, case, my coach key case. Lately, um, it tends to save more room, but then it's a little annoying with the keys out at times. So, I don't know. It has its pros and cons. Anyway, I have my little glitter pill case that I got from Amazon. I have my perfume from Bath and Body which is um Bloom and Fall. Fall and Bloom, I believe that's what it's called. 
Next up, I have my lighter. And if you see smoke on this video, what you're seeing is my candle blowing. I have like different t candles I like to use for like relaxation. So I keep this um, lighter for that. Also, I have my lip gloss from Bath and Body. I have my breath scripts. I have my earbuds. I have my Coach Mirror Charm. I have some singles, and I've been using this. I had quite a few in here, but I think I'm down to at least two or three of my singles Puro hand sanitizers. I have my Butterfly hand cream in there. I have some feminine wipes, and then I have my bag cleaning wipes. And um, the, I'm using this wallet. So if you choose to buy the micro tote. Oh, I also have an optimizer with some bath and body spray in there. So inside the micro tote, it does not have pockets. So, you know, most of these bags, I don't know if anyone watched my unboxing. And y'all didn't even give me many views. I don't even like that. I feel some type of weight because they bought this bag and y'all didn't even look at my video. But <laughs> anyway, as I stated in the unboxing of that, this bag does not have any slip or card compartments in it. Most small bags, extra small bags, they will come with at least two card slots connected to it or whatever for you to hold your cards because it's so small it can't fit a wallet. But this one don't. So if you choose to use a card case, it will still fit. But I am using my Marc Jacobs wallet from the Snoopy collection. And it is also of Silvertone hardware. And um, I just threw this little charm on here I got from Sheen so long ago. And it I just threw it to the side because when I got it, I didn't realize or pay attention enough that it was Silvertone hardware, the keychain. And I really didn't have anything to put it on. So most of my stuff is gold tone hardware. I didn't have a wallet. And, you know, a lot of people don't mind missing hardwares, but it depends on with me. Um, I'm a little precise about that, more so on the outside of the bag. But on the inside, like wallets, I really wouldn't mind, but I'm not a... I still, if I have something that can go, I will try to match it as much as I can for the hardware. So I remembered that I had this, and it is of Silvertone hardware, and it has the pink on there, and it has the little pink Snoopy. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to throw that on there to give it a little oomph. So it is just like this little bear charm um, keychains with the candy and the little um, Cuban links on it. And I just have my cards and everything in here. And let me show you guys. So I want to show you guys like it has two card slots over here and then it has two over here. And then you have a slot right here, a slot right there, another slot over here in the back, and then a slot back there. And then you have your bill compartment. It is a snap closure, and then it has a little back compartment that you can house your change or more cards in, however you choose. And I've been using my little coins. I don't have much left in there right now. So that, it has taken the place of my coin case as well, which is about the same as a card case in the coin case, because y'all know I like to have my coin cases with me. So um, when it comes to compact wallets, um, I'm glad that this one has its own little coin case with it. So in case I had to use a card case, I wouldn't have to take up more space with a coin case. So um, I will have to. I'm going to refill this with more coins. But anyway, this compact wallet holds my cash, cards, and coins. So that was the good thing of that. Even though it is a little bigger than a card case, 
it's still, you know, saving me a little more space than me having to use a coin pouch. So I love this little wallet and it was of Civitone hardware. So it was just, you know, easy peasy for as far as for me. Um, it does get a little, you know, so it felt right. It falls right in there and I just throw all my little longer items down to the bottom. I put my earbuds to the side so I know what I'm grabbing to. Um, I have my wallet, I mean my mirror to the back. And then I put my um, my wipes to the back as well. And then everything else I was just throwing in there. Just my little smaller items. More so off to the side. That way they're not all the way to the bottom. I have them standing up to the side. Is how I have it packed. And then I just place my keys on top just like that and more so that my other keys and phone are in my hand and just give her a close and that's that so I just wanted to show you guys this um, video for anyone who was inquiring about getting the micro totes I know not many of you probably are into it is a small bag I can't say that it's very small but as you see, all that I had in mind, I was able to at least get my essentials and a full compact wallet in it. So I'm okay with it. Um, I don't really mind the size at all to me. It's very cute. It's so lightweight and it's so comfortable. Definitely with the thicker scrap, it is a great carry. <clears throat> great carry. The only downfall I have with this bag is the way... It's so tight on getting the scrap on there because it's smaller. But that's my only downfall of the bag. I have no problems. I will recommend it. I have no problems with it. I don't recommend if you are not used to small bags and you have to pack the whole house in the kitchen sink, however they say it. I won't recommend it <laughs> because it will not hold a whole lot. But if you're just going on for date night, this is one of those perfect size bags, which I believe that every woman should have in her collection for date night. You don't want to, I mean, who actually buys their whole collection of huge bags? You have to have that date night bag at least in your, in your collection. And that black bag, that sexy black bag, whatever, you know, you choose. But a smaller bag shall always at least have one in every woman's collection in my, in, in, how I feel, in my opinion, you should always have one just for date night and just those little quick runs to the store or whatever. And you want to just, you know, throw your keys, your wallet, maybe some lip balm, lip balm lotion or whatever in and just go and you out the door. So these are just basically those quick run bags unless you're just really used to smaller bags and this will then this will fit your essentials but if you're used to carrying big bags then i don't recommend you to spend i believe the teddy totes are much cheaper because of the material uh this i think he paid uh it was about 250 to something like that I think it came close to 250 because I believe it was either 225 or 250. So with taxes, it came to either 250 to 275, something like that. But the leather ones are 300 and something dollars. So if you're looking for to get the micro leather one, I wouldn't. What you get is your opinion, you know, is your business. It's very beautiful. I'm actually thinking about getting one in the leather. But if you're just trying to put that one small bag in your collection, I wouldn't say you should go all the way out with the Marc Jacobs micro, you know, leather tote to spend $400 or however much the price is for just that one bag that you're just going to use every now and then. It's better to probably possibly go on coach where they have clearance and deals where you could just get you a small bag for that purpose alone. Anyway, I'm not going to talk you guys head off. I just wanted to come show you my little micro Marc Jacobs tote. 
it is a very i love this bag it is just so cute it is so cute and i definitely recommend i am looking to at least get one more mark jacobs i don't want to have all those mark jacobs because i don't feel like he i feel like these bags are more so of hype than quality um in my personal opinion i see some people have forest the mini totes the leather ones get every color of them and you know they're all beautiful like don't get me wrong his color shading is on point you don't have to worry about once you get it oh this don't this color don't match what i see like so far from what i see the colors that you see on the mark jacobs website are on point he have the most beautiful color printing that i can just pop, pop, pop possibly say every bag matches the color that you see on the website but I feel like sometimes the quality of the bag is not where it should be. Like the stitching comes out. And I have seen multiple videos of different um, YouTubers say that they let they stitching are coming out. So this is my first time is actually experiencing this. But this is not the first stitch that had came out of this bag. This is like the third one that I had to burn down. And I shouldn't have to do that for a tote that's two to three two three and four hundred dollars i mean it's not a juicy couture bag or anything like that so why do i have to you know you know it, that's just my opinion but anyway sometimes cheaper be better <laughs> Sometimes it just is. But anyway, I'm not going to hold you guys up. I just wanted to come to you with this video and show you what's in my bag on this baby. And I want to tell you guys to remember, remember, remember to always, always bless someone else. And remember that when you're down to nothing, God is always up to something. Now you smile and be blessed. Bye.